back to school season isn't just about buying new clothes and supplies. It's also a great reminder of the long-term investment for your child's post-secondary education. A Registered Education Savings Plan, or RESP, is an account that can help you save for this future expense. To help ensure you're on track, here are some key mistakes to avoid so you can make the most of your savings and set up your child for a bright future. Mistake number one, procrastination. There might be a lot of runway between now and when your child heads off to college or university, but the sooner you start saving, the longer you give your money to grow. Imagine putting just $50 a month into an RESP from the moment your child is born, assuming a 6% return compounded annually. Doing this consistently can grow those post-secondary funds into approximately $19,000 by the time they turn 18. Making small, regular contributions can add up over the years and make saving a lot easier, which is why it's a good idea to not procrastinate. Mistake number two, leaving free money on the table. Opening an RESP for your child means you're eligible for the Canada Education Savings Grant. So how does it work? Simply contribute to your child's RESP and the account will receive an extra 20% on top of your annual deposit, up to $500 each year. It's free money! If you take advantage of this grant, you can enjoy an added boost to your savings, which can help make the funds grow even faster. Quebec residents have a similar education grant called the Quebec Education Savings Incentive. For more information on either or additional provincial incentives, visit Canada.ca. Mistake number three, underestimating costs. A four-year undergraduate degree and residency costs on average around $75,000. And that cost is expected to grow by nearly 40% over the next 18 years. Staying informed about the current cost of expenses and using online calculators to help estimate future costs can help remove the element of surprise later on. You can also make a point of reviewing and adjusting your RESP contributions from time to time. Even small, periodic increases can help you keep up with inflation and rising prices. Mistake number four, overlooking financial aid. You might not have to foot the entire bill for your child's education all on your own. Financial aid options are plenty, and taking some time to research what's out there might quite literally pay off. Scholarships, grants, and bursaries can be rewarded for a variety of reasons. They generally don't need to be repaid, and they can help cover expenses. And it's not just schools that offer them. Individual people, organizations, and companies can provide financial aid options as well. These programs can make a big difference in what you pay, but it's a good idea to act early. Get a jump on researching options now and connect with groups you're affiliated with in addition to schools of interest to see what might be available and make sure to note deadlines and what's involved in the application process for each one. Mistake number five, leaving your teens in the dark. Financial literacy is key for everyone and yet many teens are left out of the money talk. So get them involved in saving for their education Talk about the cost of school and set savings goals together. Encourage them to open their own savings account so they can start putting away funds from their allowance or part-time job. Consider matching their savings contributions. This can be a major motivator. And research scholarships, bursaries, and grants together so they know that there are options that can help them focus less on paying bills and more on doing well in class. There you have it. Five mistakes to avoid when saving for your child's education. Looking for more tips and tools? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and join our community for more investing-related content and insights.